Okay, when we come into Photoshop, we're going to find that one of the big things in Photoshop is making selections. So when we make selections, the major way that we can begin is we can actually come right here. We have the magic wand tool. Now, when we hit the magic wand tool, we click, we have a selection. Whenever we see the marching ants, that's our selection. We can add to the selection by holding down shift and clicking until we have all of the different things in our selection that we want. Okay? But this isn't always the best way to make a selection. Um, so let's deselect. Let's come to select. Let's hit deselect. And we're going to look at it another way. We can begin with the quick selection tool. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we can come in and we can click and add this guy, this little guy, all into our selection. Okay, and what we're literally doing is we are selecting those pixels. Now, I zoom in, and I can see that I really don't have him all perfectly in here. So we can get a very precise, exact selection when we come to Quick Mask. Now, at the bottom of our toolbar, the toolbar this is our Quick Mask, so I click it, and actually, let me double click it to show you that this is the options. This is how my options are set. It says the masked area will be at a 50% of white. So I click this right here, and my masked area is at a 50% of white. Now what I can see is my colors down here are black and white. I want to work with my brush, okay? And the black is on top. Whatever the black is on top, I'm going to be adding to my selection. So I can come in here and I can add these pixels right here into my selection. I click and I can see I have that. Now, I want to put these pixels, I want to add these pixels to my selection. I actually just took those green ones away from my selection. All right, now, how do I do that? Well, what I do is I flip, I put the white up on the top, I come, I get my brush again, and with the white on the top, now, I'm taking away the red and I'm adding pixels to my selection. I click, there I have it. And I could come through and do the same over here. So I click, okay, I want the white on top because I want to take away this red and I want to add these pixels. So I can come in. I can make my brush bigger. I click, there it is. Okay, now what can I do and why do I want to make a selection? Well, let's take a look here. Okay, when I, once I have something selected, I could then come in and I could do image adjustments. I can make this black and white. All right, so we can see that just the selection will be affected. Right, I'm not going to do that. I can come in, I can hit select, inverse selection. Now everything around him is selected. I could apply a filter. I could say um, plastic wrap, why not? Okay, now I can zoom in here to see what it will look like. I can hit OK, and there we have it. Now what else we can do, let's go back and um, inverse it one more time. I can also come into Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. Now I have this selection in a layer all of its own. So I could take him, I could drag him and drop him into another picture, which I'll show you real quick. So I could take him, I could take him, I could drag him, I could drop him into this picture. Okay, and there we have more than one image in a page. So there's a lot of different things that we can do with this.